News 8. Good evening. That breaking news. Police in Rochester have linked a long-term investigation of a large-scale marijuana turf war to the shooting death of Officer Anthony Mazurkowitz. Nearly 20 people in all were arrested in connection to several other shootings and arson cases over the summer. This, according to police, Isabel Garcia joins us now in studio to break all this down. Isabel. Yes, good evening to both of you. Police today revealing greater details about the timeline of what led up to the shooting of Officer Mazurkowicz. And this all began with that investigation into the marijuana turf war, a network, police say, run by a man named Brandon Washington. New details surrounding the timeline of the fatal shooting of Officer Anthony Mazurkowicz. The man charged with his murder, Kelvin Vickers, now connected to several other crimes, including other homicides. Rochester police on Tuesday answering a question so many have been wondering. Why was Vickers, who was from Boston, here in Rochester? Brandon Washington requested individuals come into Rochester to help him shoot rival marijuana dealers. The timeline begins on July 20th with a large shooting, more than 40 rounds into a crowd on North Clinton Ave. That resulted in three people shot, two of which were fatal. The following day, the investigation led police to set up a detail at a home on Laser Street. Officers Mazurkowicz and Seng were stationed in an unmarked van around the corner on Bauman Street. In gratitude for their service, we're here today because Maz is dead. And that's what we need to remember. They volunteered to go down there. They volunteered to put themselves in harm's way to help protect the people that live in this community. That night, July 21st and into the morning hours on the 22nd, police say 10 search warrants were executed. The long-term investigation into several other crimes in total resulting in 18 people arrested, 10 whom are now facing federal charges. Additionally, 22 firearms and more than 139 pounds of marijuana have been recovered. And, and the one thing that I think we can't lose focus on here is everybody says marijuana is a you know nonviolent crime, right? Well, you know, let, let's tell that to all the people that got shot during this investigation all over marijuana. So anybody that says marijuana is a nonviolent crime, you're wrong. Double homicide. Kelvin Vickers is also charged with murder. He is currently being held in Monroe County Jail with no option of bail. For now, we'll send it back to you at the desk. Thank you, Isabel. The full news conference with police is available right now. If you want to watch the whole thing, it's over at rochesterfirst.com.